銀座、六丁目、中央ウォード、六道薄い、The Last Revenge in Japan。During the Edo period, there was a system that allowed victims of parents who had been murdered to take revenge on the murderer if they had not been punished by law. This was a system that was only permitted for samurai, called adauchi, or revenge. However, when the Edo period ended and became the Meiji period in 1873, adauchi became prohibited. However, in 1880, at the mansion of the Akizuki domain, which was located near present day Ginza, Rokuchome, in the Chuo ward of Tokyo, There was a young man called Rokudo Usui who succeeded in Adauchi. This is the story of his revenge. In 1868, in the Akizuki domain that was located in what is present day Asakura City in the Fukuoka prefecture, Rokudo's father, who was a chief vassal, was killed due to a feud that rose within the domain. His wife, Rokudo's mother, Was killed as well. Rokudo was only 10 years old at the time. It was during the time of political instability when the power was being transferred from the Tokugawa regime to the opposition forces. Although there was a good idea for who the culprits were, the domain could not punish them because they were close with the opposition forces who had gained much momentum. Rokudo was dissatisfied with this decision. And not heeding those around him that tried to stop him, he went on a journey to find the murderers. As a samurai, I have to take revenge. Rokudo staked his life on this mission to settle the scores so his father could rest in peace. The times changed from the Edo to Meiji period. Adauchi became illegal, and where once it was considered in honor of the samurai, it became a crime of murder. Punishable by the new law. But Dokudo remained determined. A hastily improvised law cannot change the way a samurai lives his life. Dokudo worked as a rickshaw driver to support himself while he searched for the culprits. Dokudo finally learned that the man who had directly killed his father, Naohisa Ichinose, was working as a judge for the new government. Even if he is an official for the new government, It doesn't change the fact that he is the enemy who killed my father. Rokudo approached the former Akizuki's mansion that Naohisa used, and in December 1880, when Rokudo was 20 years old, he successfully took revenge on Naohisa in that mansion and vindicated his father's death. Society took pity on Rokudo, who committed his life as a samurai. When there was said to be no samurai. This incident became the subject of plays and stories and was passed down to future generations as the last revenge in Japan. Rokudo was punished and sentenced to life imprisonment, but was granted amnesty ten years later in 1890 and was released. He then lived until he was 60 years old and died from disease. He is buried in the temple in his home. Of Akizuki. <laughs>